Welcome back to another episode of Big Brenton Little Farm. This is episode five. So right now, Sienna is Brenton's stayover guest, about to wake Brenton up. He's got a few things to do. So Brenton's got some plans for today. Brenton's going to do some things around the farm uh, and he's going to create a couple of bottles of nectar. He's going to get the plants sorted out and then uh, probably tend to anything Ranger needs. And then he's going to actually take Sienna over to his parents' place. So Sienna's never met his parents. Brenton's got a good relationship with his parents, but they definitely were sick of his shit, so they kicked him out. Um, they were sick of him partying. They were sick of him sleeping around and just sleeping with random girls all the time, going in, partying in, Mich in San Machino and just drinking his life away. So they're really successful. Brenton was not, but they did buy him this lot. So he was able to make something of himself. So he's done a rags to riches and he's done actually really well. He's got this house happening. He's got, he's built the stable over here for Ranger. He's adopted Ranger uh, and he's got this greenhouse happening. So he's got everything happening right now and he's got a little bit of funds in the bank. So he's not doing too badly at all. And he's also got a really pretty girlfriend, Sienna. So him and Sienna, he definitely in the future wants to marry her he actually wants to ask her soon it is love day so it could be a good day to ask her to marry him but he wants the approval of his parents first so that's why they're going to go over to Henford and Bagley where they live he'll show Sienna their beautiful farmhouse and uh, yeah go from there so first things first Brenton will just get some breakfast and he will sort out the ranch first and then they'll go over there. But I'm just going to check Sienna's, their relationship status at the moment. So let's open this up. So he knows everything about her, that she's a horse lover. She loves the outdoors and she's outgoing. He likes a few, he, he knows a few of her likes and dislikes. Uh, I don't know why it says that she's un unemployed because I'm pretty sure she is a horse trainer. But anyway, their relationship, their sweethearts, he, she's his girlfriend. They've got amazing compatibility. And he thinks that she's attractive. The sentiments closer from happy memories, growing closer from quality time, a jam-tastic gift. And you are my jam. Oh, how cute. Okay. So Brenton can do some chores around the ranch. He can make a couple of bottles of nectar. He can do a little bit of weeding. Uh, we've got some money in the bank, so I'm going to extend this greenhouse out and I'm going to um, sort the plants out so they're a bit more organized so I'll do that now so Brenton's just doing a little bit of weeding at the moment he also watered the plants and I'm gonna get him to harvest this prairie grass as well so I'm gonna do a couple of things let's give Sienna our residence key also let's tick off a few of these love day wants. so uh, let's give her let's offer her a little massage what does she need to do? Give flowers. Okay. Let's give her a love day gift. We'll give her a little rose. I don't know why they're still embarrassed by their conversation. It's really weird. Okay. It's time to take her over to the parents place so his parents can meet her and they can approve. And then Brenton can move forward with his relationship with Sienna. Uh, he would like to probably ask her to marry him and have a baby or two. So where is it? Hanford and Bagley. So here's Brenton's mum, Nellie. Brenton and Nellie have a really great relationship. He loves his mum. She was always the softer one with him, you know. She uh, always seemed to just understand Brenton and allow him to be the little shit that he was all the time. So, yeah, it was mainly the, his dad that told him to get out and bought him the block of land. Uh, and... You know, his mum was uh, not too happy about Brenton being made to move out. But anyway, it's it's turned out to be the best. So let's go up and say hello to his dad. His Dazza. Him and Dazza have a good relationship too, but Dazza is a little bit more stern, a little bit more strict. He gets sick of Brenton a lot more easily than what his mum does. But he definitely loves his dad too. His dad's a good man. He's always, you know, shown Brenton the right way to do things and how to 
make something of yourself. Brenton just chose to ignore and go and chase women all over town. But now Brenton has grown up and he's not that man anymore. He's, he's turned into something else. So, yeah, he really wants his parents to meet Sienna so then he can ask Sienna to marry him. So before we go on, let me show you this beautiful farmhouse. So I just got it from Gallery. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just type in wealthy farmhouse and it should come straight up. Here it is here. So from KDJ98, the build is just so beautiful. Really talented build. It's for a 64 by 64. So here's the front of it. I just love it. I think it's really pretty. So in the downstairs area, there's a sitting room, almost like a little library study area here. Over there is the dining area. I mean, the, the chairs are just adorable. Look at it. How cute. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's another little seating area, kind of an outside one. Uh, then we've got some children's rooms. Now, Brenton, this suits Brenton's parents because they're dying for grandkids. So here's the grandkids rooms set up already. Uh, a downstairs bathroom here's a little lounge room and the kitchen the kitchen's beautiful back here is Brenton's parents bedroom that's the main bedroom and they've got a walkthrough robe and they've also got their own bathroom how beautiful look there's little stairs to go up to the bath that lead up to the bath really cute here's the upper level here so here's a painting room and just a guest bedroom guest bathroom here's brenton's old bedroom so if him and sienna ever stay over this is where they'll stay uh, a small gym another sitting area now brenton even though he's an only child his parents did take in kind of a bit of a stray person which is a a cousin of his who she's just like a difficult person she's always depressed she's just difficult she's angry she's just lashing out all the time and his parents took her in because her parents didn't really want her around and her name's jd so she's not here at the moment but jd uh stays in this bedroom she's lived with them for quite a few years so brenton kind of sees her as a sister even though she is pretty difficult but here's another guest bedroom with a bathroom off it and just lastly, over here is the stable area. So you walk through here, and I think this is where you kind of put your put your stable clothes on, and then you pop into here, and here's the stable where the, where the horses and stuff are. How cute! So upstairs, for, upstairs from the stable area, here's a bar, and a beautiful old piano, a nectar maker. I just love it. I think it's great. Uh, out the back here, I added. I added these parts so I just added the chicken coops and the fencing there and the little tiny farm animals the goats and the sheep here is Brenton's parents horse Sebastian Sebastian's just gorgeous and Sebastian has a little foal I'm not sure where the foal is running around somewhere but anyway they've got the two dogs as well so they've got Shelly and they've got Toby Oh, here's the foal. The foal is just gorgeous. The foal is called Chip. Very cute. So that's the whole farmhouse. It's big. It's beautiful. Brenton's parents made all of their money from, you know, farming and from raising champion horses that won a lot of money for them. And then they sold those horses off. And so they're just left with a really good nest egg. Uh, and yeah. So it got really late, so Brenton and Sienna decided to stay over. Brenton's mum's just made some breakfast, so Brenton's going to come down, have some breakfast. I mean, he was always so used to his mum making him delicious food all the time. So he does like to stay over and have a bit of his mum's cooking. And, I mean, who wouldn't want to stay over at this house, seriously? So Brenton's so excited because his parents really approve of Sienna. They like her a lot. So he's going to ask her if she wants some children to see whether, you know, they should be taking this to the next level. I'd be all right with having children. I'd also be all right with not having children. Okay, well, cool. So let's talk about marriage and see what Sienna thinks about marriage because Brenton would really like to take that next step with her. So... 
Oh, it doesn't look like she's really interested in getting married. But the, dis the, the discussion has stayed casual, so he might just ask her anyway. Maybe he'll take her out on a date later. Go and hug the black mini goat. Go on. Black mini goat is really cranky. <laughs> Okay, so it's 10 a.m. I think it's time for Brenton and Sienna to go home and get their farm sorted out. So they've had a beautiful stay at the parents' place. They've had lots of fun. But him and Sienna are going now. Bye, Mum. See you later. Got to go. Okay, so we're back at the ranch. Uh, Brenton's... Oh, I wonder what's happened here. Something's happened to all of my plants. What? What in the world? Bizarre. Okay. We'll go and take Ranger to do a couple of competitions, try and make some money there. And then we might take Sienna on a date later on after we've done everything that we need to do for the ranch. So we've currently got Brenton making some nectar. Uh, let's just have a quick look to see where he's at for his nectar making skills. Gosh, he's only, yeah, he's only on level two. So it takes a while actually, I feel like for the nectar making. He's made lots of bottles. So Brenton's currently got a thousand dollars in the bank. I'm going to sell some stuff off and then I'm actually going to expand his house. So Brenton needs a bigger house than this, definitely. I'm going to sell everything off because everything will grow tomorrow as well. So he'll wake up, he'll be able to harvest some more plants and things to make more nectar. So we've currently got 1800 uh, and so yeah, I'm going to expand his house. Okay, so here we are. So Brenton has a bedroom now. So it's gotten a little bit bigger there. I've moved the kitchen to the back and this little lounge room area to the front. But he's got a bedroom. He doesn't have much in it except for a bed and he doesn't have any flooring yet. But that's okay. Uh, so we're going to also focus on fixing up the kitchen, having a nice little kitchen. Uh, we want another bedroom for when they have a baby and to have a proper little lounge room and probably revamp that bathroom as well. So we do have a lot of money that it's going to come in soon because both our our storage racks are full. And oh, actually this one's got three, three spots left. So once this all ages, I'll just quickly open this. So this is moderately aged and then lightly aged. And that is an excellent strawberry nectar, moderately aged. It's already at 1700. So let's see this one. This is normal, not yet aged, not yet normal quality, 110, not, not yet aged. And yeah, so he's going to have quite a bit of money come in soon. And once all that money comes in, uh, we're going to really fix up this place. It's going to be great. So I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next episode. Ciao.